today we are going to go through how to install a 225 amp feed through lug kit onto an NQ panel board. Please remember to turn off all power supplying the equipment before working inside the panel board and to follow all proper lockout and tagout procedures before doing any work. First we are going to go over the kit contents. There are two possible kits that you could have received. The NQFT L2L is for the low circuit count interiors, 30 and 42 space. The NQFT L2H is for the high circuit count interiors, 54, 72, and 84 spaces. The only difference between the two kits is the cover extension that's included. For the low circuit count interiors, the longer cover on the left here is going to be provided and for the high circuit count interiors the shorter cover pictured on the right will be included in the kit. You will receive four different lugs with your kit. One of the lugs will be used as the neutral lug and the other three lugs will be used as the feed through lugs. These lugs are all the same so it doesn't matter which lug you use where. Included in both kits are two rail extensions and two rail splices. You'll also receive all this mounting hardware to attach everything together. The eight small silver screws will be used to attach the rail splices and the rail extensions together and then to the existing rail in the panel board. You'll get four gold screws. One of the screws will be shorter than the other ones. This screw will be used to attach the neutral lug to the panel board. Remember the lug doesn't matter, but the screw does. The three longer screws will be used to attach the feed through lugs to the panel board. It's important to note now that if you have a 42 space panel board, main breaker or main lug, you will not need the two rail extensions, the two rail splices, the eight small silver screws to attach those together, nor will you need the cover extension provided. All of these parts can be discarded at this time. Okay, so here we have our 42 circuit main lug only interior. Uh, your interior might look a little different than ours. We've taken our interior out of the box so that you have a better view of what we're doing. The first thing you want to do is locate where your neutral is. Your feed through lugs will be installed on the opposite end of where your neutral is. Things are going to differ a little bit now depending on how many spaces your panel board is. If you have a 42 space panel board, you just need to remove the entire dead front assembly by taking out the four inner screws. Please remember to retain these screws as you will need them again to reconnect this dead front back onto the panel board. If you have a 30, 54, 72, or 84 space panel board, you'll have to remove the dead front as we did for the 42 space interior but you'll also need to remove the cover extension. This can be found if you locate the neutral assembly. Uh, the cover extension you wish to remove is the one on the opposite end from the neutral assembly of your panel board. So you just need to take out six screws, take out the four inner screws as we did with the previous cover, along with the two outer screws associated with the cover extension that you need to remove. Once again, please remember to retain these screws for future use. Now that you've taken off the cover that you won't use anymore for those 30, 54, 72, and 84 space interiors, you just want to install the right extension cover, which is the extension cover that's included in your kit. So just use the same two screws that you removed the other one with and install the new one. Okay, so now we're going to install the feed through lugs included in the kit using the three longer gold screws. Remember to install these lugs on the end of the panel board opposite the neutral bar. When installing the lugs, make sure to aim for the middle hole. Also, remember not to over tighten the screws. You need to tighten the screws to 25 to 30 pound inches of torque. Also note that the middle lug is only installed for three phase panels. If you have a single phase panel, you only need to install the two outer lugs.
Now that we've installed the feed through lugs, it's now time to install the neutral lug here at the top of the panel board next to the neutral bar. On the left hand side, you should already have a neutral lug for your panel board. On the right hand side, you may or may not have this neutral bonding strap. If you do have a neutral bonding strap, you are going to install the lug right on top of the strap. To do this, just remove the gold screw that's attached to the strap and set the lug right on top of the bonding strap. Then reinstall the screw and torque it to 25 to 30 pound inches. If you are not using this device as a service entrance equipment device, you will not have a neutral bonding strap. You would install the lug in the same spot, however. Just find the neutral bar on the right hand side of the panel board and install the lug into the hole right next to it. Torque the lug to 25 to 30 pound inches. Now that we've attached the neutral lug here at the top by the neutral bar, and the phase lugs here on the opposite ends, it's now time to attach the rail splices and rail extensions. Please remember if you have a 42 space interior, you do not need to do this. This is what is pictured here. That's the, the model of a panel board we have is 42 spaces. I'm still going to show this just so that people with other spaced interiors can know how to do this part as well. To do this, you need to use the eight screws that were included in the kit. Now just get your rail extensions and the rail splices and you're going to stick them together. They're pretty foolproof. You can put them in any direction and they will work. Uh, I would look for the little knob on the side of the rail splice and stick it in the hole of the rail extension, as you can see me doing in this video. Once you do this, the holes at the top should line up and you can stick the screws, two screws, into each of the holes that line up. Once you've screwed your rail extensions and your rail splices together for both sides, you now just need to hook this up to the panel board rail itself. To do this, just find the knob of the rail splice and hook it into the hole of the rail on your panel board. The two holes at the top then should align and you can put your screws in. Do this for both sides. The final step is to remount the dead front assembly. To do this, use the four screws that you retained from earlier when you took the dead front assembly off and remount the dead front back onto the panel board like this picture is showing.